The Parsha called Boi because of the words that God said to Moshe, Boi el Pari, come to Pari and tell him that there are more plagues coming. The word Boi doesn't mean go to Pari, it means come to Pari, which kind of suggests that God is going to Pari as well and Moshe should come along. Come, let us go to Pari. Now, the simple meaning of it is, Pari is getting a little annoyed. He suffered seven plagues. Moshe is getting on his nerves. And it's getting dangerous. He's going to come again and threaten Pari again. So God says, I'm, I'm coming with you. The first time God sent Moshe to speak to Pari, God said, come, I will send you. You're going <laughs> on your mission. Now God says, come, let's go together. But here's the question. If God is going to Pari, what do you need Moshe for? I'm sure God can handle it. So, if it's something that needs to happen through human effort, then I understand why we need Moshe. That Moshe might be a little intimidated and feeling inadequate, understandable. But if God is going to Pari, why do you need the human element? Why do you need Moshe at all? And it's not like Moshe is going to influence Pari, God is going to support Moshe, like back him up. But then you wouldn't say, come to Pari, because God is not going to Pari. So, the objective is that Pari should recognize that there is one God in heaven and stop with the idolatry. Now, how is that going to happen? Well, step by step, one after another of his idols fail, like the Nile turning into blood. So you eliminate the trust and the belief in the idols and eventually come to the conclusion there's only one God. But that awareness, that realization, when God becomes real to you, that, that doesn't happen by itself. God has to make himself available, knowable, and tangible for a human being to recognize him. So here's what God is saying. Let's go to Pari. I will make myself more available to him. You will show him how to believe in me. So God comes to Pari but not to speak to him. He comes in the sense that he makes himself closer, more available, more recognizable, more palpable. But somebody's got to explain it. Somebody has to bring attention to Pari that God is present and knowable. And then it's up to Pari to uh, make the connection, the realization. And it happened. It took three more plagues, but it happened. And this is true in all cases. Every time we have an inspiration, every time we see something about God that we didn't see before, some insight, some recognition, some epiphany, all of a sudden God is real. God did that by making himself more available. Because by nature, God is hidden. When suddenly you can see him and you can experience the reality of it, it's because God came closer. So it's a two-man job. God makes himself more available, and then a good teacher like Moshe or a prophet can bring your attention to the closeness of God that has just happened for you 
that enables you to see clearly. I want to invite you to a VIP session, a Zoom session, in which we get together to actually have a conversation and discuss all things Jewish, all things holy, all things healthy. So click on the link below and join us where we can have a two-way conversation.